an AI co-pilot for developers, as founders, anyone trying to do technical work or writing. Um, it gives you access to advanced AI models. The page which you just saw was the homepage. Uh, once you go into it, you will see a few options. You will see bind AI, web search, and code generator. These are different AI um, agents or applications which allow you to do specific tasks. Uh, let's pick code generator. This is a dedicated experience for generating code. You can select any advanced models available. Um, so let's pick Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, and you can ask it to generate code. Python script to some one plus one. Um, so it's going to generate the code, and then on the right side is the the code editor. Uh, it allows you to execute Python code and HTML files. So as you can see, in the same window, it's going to execute code for you. It also can execute Java code um, and then some other types of codes. Um, in the code generator, you can also generate web pages. So for an example, write code for a HTML landing page for a lifetime deal site called app sumo use till wind submitted in the HTML. So you can just give a prompt um, and it is going to generate the code and it's going to also use this editor and when you generate an HTML code what you can do is you can also preview. It's a temporary uh, hosting of the page just for the purposes of previewing. Uh, I'll let it generate the code. Uh, but this, uh, why it generates the code, uh, this editor, you can also edit things in it. Uh, so for example, uh, I can just change things. Okay, so it generated the, the web page code. Uh, I'm gonna hit run and it's gonna create a temporary hosted preview. And it has created uh, already a web page. Um, and I can give it subsequent instructions and I can say things like, uh, okay, when I click on buy now, it should take me to a checkout page with credit card payment option region break the entire code um, so it's going to regenerate the entire code and meanwhile i'm going to show you some other features um, you can also add your own api keys that option is available when you click on advanced and add your api key uh, you can just add your key and then uh, it will allow you the option to continue. Once you add your API keys, you have no limit on how many queries you can make. Um, some other cool things, while it's still generating, uh, it's a large file, so typically it could take a few seconds uh, to do that. Okay, cool. So now it has updated the code. Um, it automatically opens the code in the code editor you can also click this icon and it's going to insert the code here. Currently it inserts the entire code and replaces the previous one. You can also copy the code if you wanna do something with it or paste it maybe in your Webflow or your WordPress or just your personal site. I'm gonna hit run again so that it generates a new preview and then I'm doing a preview and let's see, voila. So. It now just added a page uh, where you can go and, and pay now. Um, so you can keep doing these things. Uh, now. You can also connect your own data from GitHub, Google Drive, or upload your files. All you have to do is click on this attach icon, click connect. I'm gonna show you GitHub as an example. I already have a account connected, but you could easily just add your username and token from GitHub. Once that is done, you can select 
the files which you want to sync and bind will automatically create a custom bot for you you can find it here and in the custom bot you can ask questions on your own data as an example explain the pis the, the back end so for this it is going to specifically use the data which you have um, synced um, just going to pause it here as you can see it is taking the data from github and giving specific things i can also ask it to enhance code so here i'm asking it to enhance the the sign up code by adding a discard uh, option so it is taking the code and then it's not only going to update my uh, give me a back-end code but it will also give me a front-end code it's not automatically going to sync it to github you can uh, copy it and then you can paste it into your github you can also customize your bots further or create new gpt agents by uh, using this interface from ai studio uh, you can enter a system prom a prompt which is basically an instruction defined for the llm to only do specific things you can create gpts for writing blogs documentation generating web pages uh, all you have to do is just name it uh, add some description, add a system prompt. You can also connect integrations or upload files and uh, you can copy the link. It will also automatically show up in your Bind AI interface uh, right next to where you see the Bind AI highlighted right now.